Hello everybody. So for today I'm going to be talking about the Dive Gear Express backplate and wing package that they offer. Um, this backplate is $299 on their website. It's like the, uh, the most basic version they have. Um, and after using it, I believe that this is a great intro package into the backplate world. Um, mainly because when you get online and you start looking at backplates, you you, just, you see them vary from um, the cheapest I have seen is the Dive Gear Express one for $300 all the way up to, uh, you know, Dive Right and Halcyon and those other companies that are, you know, closer to, to six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800 for, you know, almost the exact same thing. Um, you know, the exception being different shaped uh, wings or um, slightly different harnesses. Um, or whatever have you know be it from that company so today I'm just going to talk about the basic uh, dive gear express um, backplate and wing assembly um, when you get this it's going to come out of the box with your uh, backplate I chose to go with a stainless steel one because I uh, have a dry suit and you know I dive colder weather so uh, I use thicker exposure suits it's nice to have the weight off of a weight belt <clears throat> Um, so you get the back plate, you will get the wing or the air cell, you will get two cam straps for your tank. Uh, I purchased an additional single tank adapter. Um, Dive Gear Express says that this is not needed, um, but I will cover that later in this video. And then you get a roll of nylon webbing which becomes your shoulder and hip belt. Um, you get a um, crotch strap, uh, which is already pre-assembled, um, and you get a steel buckle. Um, various D-rings, both straight and bent, um, and then uh, keepers to help retain the D-rings on the, uh, the nylon belt. So. Um, I'm not going to go over how to assemble it or any of that stuff. Um, that's something you know you guys can figure out on your own from other various YouTube videos. Um, there's a lot of other videos out there that explain how to do it. Um, so some of the things I do want to cover with this backplate and wing assembly from Dive Gear Express is uh, just some stuff to keep in mind um, if you do order it. Um, so with mine, uh, one of the first things I noticed is the it didn't come with instructions. You have to go to their website. You have to actually use the instructions on their website, which are not exactly clear to someone, you know, brand new coming into um, backplates like I was. I was completely lost. Their instructions were really unclear. And the photos really didn't help any because they would be taken from super weird angles. You know, the, the backplates flipped over. It's upside down. Whatever the case would be, it, it just wasn't very helpful. Um... So once you get the the harness set up, um, one of the things I figured out on my first dive with it was um, my inflator hose was flopping all over the place. I had no way to retain it. Um, and so I start looking around and I found out that it's as simple as just adding a uh, little piece of um, nylon band or a hair tie or something like that onto the shoulder D-ring to help retain that inflator hose. Um, so that's one thing that is not included from Dive Gear Express that I would recommend you do up front so you don't have to take the whole harness apart or um, tie it into a square knot, whatever it be. If you have OCD, I do. The square knot bothers me, whatever. Um, uh, also, the wing or the air cell that comes with the Dive Gear Express package is a, it's actually made by Dive Right. It's their uh, 25 pound travel wing. Um, so made, you know, it's a wing coming from a good company. It's not some Chinese knockoff brand. Uh, Dive Gear Express is pretty good about sourcing their stuff from uh, quality manufacturers. Uh, so you're not getting some, you know, cheap, skimpy stuff. Um, included with the backplate and wing from um, Dive Gear Express, and this is what I said I would mention earlier. Um, 
the sex bolts that come, or the carriage bolts, depending on who you talk to, whatever they want to call them, uh, that come with it are made of Delrin, and uh, they claim that they recommend you either use A, the Delrin screws that are included, or B, you don't use any screws and you just web the uh, tank cam bands into the back plate and that will actually hold the wing on, which it will, I, I did test it, it will hold it on. Um, but the thing that happened when I was diving this back plate with a HP 100 tank was I found that if I rotated my body the tank would wobble side to side a little bit. Um, I've had some people say that they also had the wobble and then some say they did not have the wobble. Dive Gear Express claims that there is no wobble to be felt. Uh, in my experience I found that not to be true. Um, so I did end up purchasing the single tank adapter. Uh, one, just a little bit more weight off my weight belt. Like I said, I'm going to be using a dry suit, so uh, it's going to be nice not to have that on my belt. And then two, uh, it reduces all of the tank wobble that I you know, may experience in the future. Um, and it comes with, uh, I also have the, it is the Dive Gear Express brand uh, single tank adapter. I didn't splurge on the um, the Dive Ride or uh, what other brands they, they offer on their website. Uh, looking at the, the information, this is actually the heaviest one that they offer um, and it comes with different bolts uh, for both um, a thicker plate like a, a 6 or 8 millimeter back plate like you can find online or the, uh, the thinner stainless steel plate included by them. Um, I believe that's all. Uh, if you have any questions, comment, let me know. Thanks for watching.